Hi there, welcome back to my channel Scrap and Coffee. I'm here with a new project. This is the Blossom album and I cannot describe how excited I am about this album. Okay, before we go into the album, I just want to tell you that the tutorial for this album will be available in my Etsy shop. I have links down below in the description box if you are interested in it. And um, before you go there and uh, buy the tutorial, I just want to make clear that in order to make this album and have it function and in, to last over time, I strongly advise you the use of Tyvek. So please keep in mind that that is something that you will need for this album and if it's hard for you to get then you can use packaging tape um, but yeah just think about it before um, before you go run off and buy the tutorial that if you it's difficult for you to get then yeah I told you that you need it so that's uh, what I wanted to say so for the album I've used the graphic 45 blossom collection which I actually thought it was the bloom collection but I uh, had that wrong in my head but this is what i've used so um i had to my um what i was able to use because i had it was the 12 by 12 collection pack uh, which i used about a little over half of it then i had the same collection of course in the 8 by 8 paper pad but i've i've used papers of it but um, less than half of it and I had the solids or the patterns and solids 12 by 12 and these are 16 sheets and I think I have about four sheets left where I didn't cut into it and then a lot of scraps of course and I also had the journal cards and I had the uh, die cut pieces but I hardly use any die cut pieces I didn't embellish very much okay so what I did with the album is I've made a gatefold styled cover which I'm calling an offset gatefold because the opening as you might be able to see is not in the center but it's offset it's simple as that and I've made a chipboard frame with an acetate window and some shaker elements uh, to keep it all closed with magnets I have some blue solid here a strip and I did the same it's a little bit difficult to get in frame but the same on the spine and the back is black as for now I'm not sure if I'm going to put something on there or not okay so when we open it up then we get this view it's a large album so it's I had to zoom out a little bit you can also see my camera mounting a little bit on the top I'm sorry for that but it's just the way it's gonna be um, so because we have that offset cover I could really play with on this larger part of the cover and I've made a stack pocket with angled pockets and an estate window on the front pocket here and I just love how this turned out and we are still able to see that beautiful floral here of the pattern paper that's actually on the second pocket uh, I find that this album has a lot of fun elements and they come together uh, a little bit different here and there I had a lot of fun making and designing this album and I know that if you are want to make it you will have to so I did a lot of these tag shaped photo mats in the album where you can place a full size photo with some pattern paper um, because some because it's a larger album some larger pages sometimes you need a little bit more height than just a full size photo so I thought that was fun so we can place that in here and then let's go to the pages so if you know my amethyst gatefold album you might recognize this a little bit uh, where you open up the gatefold cover and then you still have uh, that gatefold feel here um, it is the same but it comes together completely different i've used a binding system here which i've been working on and trying out and um, yeah the pages in this album are lying like flat flat and i'm really really happy with that so on the first layer or the first page um, I've played with the pockets so we have smaller angled pockets here on the front I did full size photos and a journal card in there and then behind it we have another angled pocket with those tagged style photo mats and then this is the view that we that we have here and I just love how that turned out so this uh, in this album all pages are somewhat different but you will recognize elements we just changed up the elements a little bit okay I can open this one up and then we actually have the album showing uh, here you can fit a full-size photo I did a journal card here because I need to hide my magnet actually I 
totally forgot the magnet. Uh, and I only have one now here, which you will, but you will definitely need two actually. Uh, but yeah, I forgot, so I had to work around it. So here we have a, a side pocket. I did a larger photo mat in here and the B side of one of the journal cards from the collection for journal opportunity. This is a quite a spacious pocket. You can put more in here, but just keep in mind that the more bulk you create here, that that might interfere with what you have here. But there is definitely more room. Okay, I'm going to shove the album to the side. So designated photo area here. And remember, um, my white photo mats are representing the photo. So I can take this out and replace that for a photo. And this is the bulk that I have with the photos in here. I have about 60, I think, in here. 90% is full-size photo. Um, but you can make that easily 70, maybe even 80 photos. In the pocket here, again an acetate window, this is a paper from the 8x8 collection. And then we have full size photos here. And I've made a booklet with one of the journal cards on the front. The pockets in this album are quite spacious, so you can easily add booklets or little inserts. Or I say little, but inserts in your pockets because you just have that room. Designated photo area here combined with some pattern paper. And then here we have a really fun element where we have two smaller pockets with an acetate window. So I did some smaller photos in here. You can fit a full size photo in here, uh, but it just looked a little bit more playful with the smaller photo. So I changed that up. See, this is for a full size photo, but you can just fit that in the pocket. So those check shaped photo mats there. And I did put pattern paper on the back here. And then we have more photo mats that will show the photo on the other side. And then this is the element that we've made. A really fun, fun element. So if I place my photo mats back here. And then we can put the smaller photos back in the pocket. And I flip it over. Then you will see that the pattern paper just finishes it off here. And then we have more room for photos here. So or these were here, right? And you can place a photo on here as well if you want to. Uh, I felt that there was quite some photos tucked in uh, all the pockets and the belly bands here that I didn't really need it. And I also didn't want to cover up that beautiful pattern paper. So I just did not use that as a photo opportunity, but you can. Designated area for photos here. And then on the inside of this page, because this is the second page that we are looking at right now. We have a large side pocket here, really spacious pocket. I have a larger photo mat in there. And here again, a large spacious pocket with a large photo mat and some full size photos. And you can do an acetate window in here if you want, but I decided not to. You don't have to do it everywhere, right? So kind of love how this turned out, although I was not a really big fan of the green. But I just had to use it, right? So we can place all of that back in here. Flip it over, designated area here. And what you see here, the, this is the color combination that I just totally loved in this, in this collection. That dark blue with that aubergine purple, just it's gorgeous. So here we have the same element that we had on the front of the first page. This is the start of page number three. Only I've changed it up a little bit. So again, we have that small pocket, no acetate window in here. I've pieced my papers together a little bit so I could use 8x8 paper on here as well. And then we have those tag shaped photo mats behind that. And then this is again actually a belly band. So I have a large photo mat behind that as well. And I could do more than just this one photo mat. There is enough room. Just keep in mind that it might get a little bit heavy on the page. So place those back behind there and see how flat these pages are lying. I just love that. Okay, flip this over and then on the other side we have a side pocket here for full size photos if you want to. And then we have the same angled pocket as we have on the front inside cover. Again with that acetate window there so we can see that beautiful pattern paper. I've played with my paper here a little bit. Kind of messed up there a little bit with my wet glue but 
yeah that's what it is so again a lot of room for photos in all these pockets here and then a designated photo area there and also here on the back and then we are on the back side cover where we have the same element as we had on the first layer on the first page only again change it up a little bit you can make this into one large pocket i've divided them into two small pockets and then this is one large pocket here and we reinforced this point here so it's nice and strong and not too flimsy so you can place large photo mats behind there as well so this is the actual album and i'm telling you it was so much fun designing and making this album playing with the pattern paper i've decided that i'm going to do my best to revisit this album and then making it with a let's say the classic cover just a normal cover and uh, then i need to change up some elements like this one and um, then i will try but my idea is, is to use the stamperia sur vagabond in japan on that one i think that can turn out really awesome so i'm going to try it and if it works out i will show you of course so um yeah that's how much i enjoyed this album that i'm actually going to make it twice which i hardly ever do so if you are interested in the tutorial please visit my etsy shop i have links down below in the description box for it and for now i just want to say thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your day and i hope to see you in one of my new videos so see you there bye bye